nothing can hinder. Nurturing every learner, together we soar, make dreams score. Amidst the challenges we face, a journey of learning wins the race. Education for all, let's rise, not fall. This is Dead Ed Science Ed TV, a video lesson of Wanjimakar Egg National High School, School Division of Pangasinan 2. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic, which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us, especially in these trying times. Bless our country and the people who continue fighting to stop the pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hello, dear students. Welcome to SciEd TV. This is Teacher Jello, your virtual science teacher. Be excited as we learn a new knowledge in the world of science. Today's video lesson, we will learn the properties of matter based on their own nature. It is important for you to learn how to explain the particle nature of matter in its different states. This video lesson will help you understand the particle nature of matter. Let's begin our third quarter by learning about our most essential learning competencies, which you should master by the end of this week. In this lesson, you are expected to explain the particle nature of solids, liquids, and gases based on the particle nature of matter. Are you ready? Let's start! When you were in grade 7, you already encountered the word homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. You also came across the words elements, compounds, metals, nonmetals, acids, and bases. Do you still remember these words? If you are having trouble recalling them, we start the lesson by playing a game. Are you familiar with the game Fact or Bluff? Alright, let's give it a shot. Mixture is a material made up of two or more different substances which are not chemically combined. It is a fact or bluff. It is a fact because a mixture is the physical combination of two or more substances in which the identities are retained and are mixed in the form of solutions, suspensions, and colloids. Elements are the building blocks for all the rest of the matter in the world. Is it a fact or bluff? It is a fact because scientists also believe that about 25 of the known elements are essential to life. Compounds are made up of only one kind of particle and has a fixed or constant structure. Is it a fact or bluff? It is a bluff because compound composed of many identical molecules or a combination of two or more element. Do you now remember those words? Okay, let's move on to our lesson. We all know matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Do you believe that all matter can be found around us? For example, books, pen, bags, air, water, all living beings are composed of matter because they occupy space and mass. Those examples indicate that by mass, we can measure the amount of the object has, while in volume, we can simply measure of the space occupied by an object. But do you ever ask yourself, what is matter made up of? Let's find out! Matter are made of extremely tiny particles called atoms. 
Variety in matter can be traced to the nature of the particles composing them. Water is one example of matter with a wide range of physical forms. Water is a common substance that we encounter every day. The droplet of the rain, river or lakes, the vapor in the sky, an iceberg are all considered water but they are in different states. Alright, let's have a quick and edible experiment. In this edible experiment, you only need hot chocolate and a marshmallow. For your procedure, prepare 10 ml of hot chocolate to your prepared cup. And then, add 2 or 3 blocks of marshmallow into your hot chocolate. And then, mix or let the marshmallow dissolve into your hot chocolate. For your observation, what is the volume of the hot chocolate and marshmallow mixture? What should be the total volume of the solution? Now let's recall the volume of our edible experiment. We prepared 10 ml of hot chocolate in our prepared cup. We added 3 blocks of marshmallow in the cup. Note that one piece of marshmallow is equal to 1 ml. Therefore, 1 ml times 3 is equal to 3 ml of marshmallow. So the total volume inside of the cup that we use must be 10 ml of hot chocolate plus 3 ml of marshmallow is equal to 13 ml. The hot chocolate is a liquid and liquid is made up of a tiny particles called molecules with the spaces between them. Marshmallow is also made up of molecules bigger from the molecules of the hot chocolate. The water molecules fit the marshmallow molecules or vice versa. Who discovered that all matter is made up of a tiny particles known as atoms? It was the Greek philosopher Democritus in his mentor, Leucippus, in about 5th century BC, who had an idea that all matter was made up of a tiny indivisible particles known as atomus, and later on, it was called atom. Though their understanding about atoms were rudimentary or primitive compared to our concepts today. However, they did the outline and principle that everything is made of an atoms. Our scholars describe that those tiny particles are in randomly in motion. Our scientists call this characteristic as particulate nature of matter. After more than a thousand years, the ancient philosopher's idea about atoms became theory when John Dalton incorporated several findings and reports from many studies performed by other scientists to formulate the atomic theory. Early scientists attempted to explain the composition and behavior through the molecular theory of matter. The following are the assumptions that underpin this theory. Number one, all matter is made up of small particles called molecules. Number two, there are spaces between molecules. Number three, molecules are constantly moving. And number four, molecules attract one another. This theory was later on improved by the course of time and named as kinetic molecular theory of matter. A molecule. It is a particle made up of two or more atoms that are arranged in a particular way. It is electrically neutral particle and it is the smallest particle of an element or compound capable of existing on its own. For example, this hydrogen atom becomes the basic unit of all these elements, which possesses all the properties of hydrogen. We define molecules as the particles consisting of two or more atoms combined together in a specific arrangement. If this hydrogen atom combined with another hydrogen atom, 
they will form hydrogen molecule with different atoms. This hydrogen molecule can bond with different atoms like oxygen atoms. And they will eventually a well-known compound known as H2O, or what we call water. Again, atoms of the same element can also combine to form a molecule. For example, oxygen in the air consists of oxygen molecules which are made up of two oxygen atoms. Now it's your turn to use examples to complete your learning challenge for this week. You'll try to answer the questions that I will be flashing on the screen. For you to answer the questions easily, I'll show you the symbols in the name of the elements as your guide. Let's proceed to question number one. What are the atoms present in illustration A? How many molecules are there? You can post the video for you to think your answer. Now, what will be the answers? The atoms and molecules that are present in illustration A are sodium, chlorine, and oxygen. And there are two molecules in illustration A. Very good! Question number two. Are there other kinds of atoms in illustration B? How many molecules are there? Once again, I'll give you time for you to think your answer. What is your answers? None. No other atoms are present in illustration B. And how many molecules are there? There are three molecules of fluorine. Excellent! Question number three. In illustration C, there are three molecules present. Specify each of them by writing their symbols. Once again, I'll give you another time for you to think your answer. What will be your answer? The answer is, there are two molecules of NaCl or what we call sodium chloride and one molecule of NH3 or what we call ammonia. Great job, students! And for question number four, how many atoms and molecules are there in illustration D? Explain the difference between molecule and an element. Once more, I'll give you time for you to think your answer. And the correct answers are, there are three atoms and two molecules. Elements mix up a single atom, while molecules are made up of two or more atoms that have been bonded together. Let's have another explanation. An ice, is this a matter or not? You're right, it is a matter. Ice is a solid state of water which is normally a liquid substance that freezes to the solid state at temperature of 0 degrees Celsius. And it will expand to gaseous state at temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. When the water gets heated up, the particles of water also heats up, causing it to expand. When you freeze the water, the particles motion slow down. The attraction within the molecules causes the particles to attract to each other, forming a solid bond. This continues throughout and form different states of matter. Matter can exist in three different states. They are solid, liquid, and gas. The constituent particles of these three states of matter can be represented as shown. In solids, their particles are very close to each other and orderly organized. The particles have no freedom from movement. While in liquids, particles are close to each other but they can move around because there is a spaces between them. However, in gases, particles far apart compared to solid and liquid. But the movement of particles is easy and smoothly fast. Solids have definite volume and definite shape. Solids have mass and take up space. Liquids have definite volume but no definite shape. Unless you have container. And the liquid 
will take the shape of the container in which they are placed. Gases have a definite volume nor a definite shape. They completely occupy the container in which they are placed. These three states of matter can be interconvertible by the changing the condition of temperature and pressure. Solid, liquid, and gases can be changed from its different state. Common changes of state include melting, freezing, sublimation, deposition, condensation, and vaporization. Try to look and learn from our example illustration. Changes in state are due to the particles absorbing or losing energy. When the substance gets heated, it absorbs energy. And when it cools, it loses energy. Always remember, changes of state are changes in the physical state of matter. They are reversible changes that do not involve changes in the chemical makeup or chemical properties. Let us summarize our lesson. Matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms are the smallest particles of matter. Elements make up a single atom. Molecules are atoms bonded together. The states of matter are the physical form which a substance can exist. And there are three states of matter, the solid, the liquid, and gas. For your additional activity, plasma considered in a natural state as the fourth state of matter. For your assignment, search for the 22 states of matter. Yes, you heard me correctly. There are 22 states of matter in the modern states. Upload your answer to this link. For your post-test, I prepared 15 items for you to answer it. Please access this link. And if you have queries and questions from our lesson, please don't hesitate to ask questions from me. We have come to the end of this learning episode. I hope you learned a lot from this video lesson. Thank you for staying with me. I am Teacher Jello, and together, let's learn science fun and easy. See you in our next learning episode. Be safe and stay at home. Bye!